So today we have an excellent lesson that is um, very good in relation to what we read yesterday over there. <laughs> the same theme. There is no love but gods. There is no love but gods is the lesson. Perhaps you think that different kinds of love are possible. Perhaps you think there is a kind of love for this, a kind of love for that. A way of loving one, another way of loving still another. Love is one. It has no separate parts and no degrees, no kinds nor levels. No divergences and no distinctions. It is like itself, unchanged throughout. It never alters with a person or a circumstance. It is the heart of God and also of his son. Love's meaning is obscure to anyone who thinks that love can change. He does not see that changing love must be impossible. And thus he thinks that he can love at times and hate at other times. He also thinks that love can be bestowed on one and yet remain itself although it is withheld from others. To believe these things of love is not to understand. It's not to understand it. If it could make such distinctions, it would have to judge between the righteous and the sinner and perceive the Son of God in separate parts. Love cannot judge. As it is one itself, it looks on all as one. Its meaning lies in oneness. And it must elude the mind that thinks of it as partial or in part. There is no love but God's, and all of love is his. There is no other principle that rules where love is not. Love is a law without an opposite. Its wholeness is the power holding everything as one, the link between the Father and the Son, which holds them both forever as the same. No course whose purpose is to teach you to remember what you really are could fail to emphasize that there can never be a difference in what you really are and what love is. Love's meaning is your own and shared by God himself. For what you are is what he is. There is no love but his. And what he is, is everything there is. There is no limit placed upon himself, and so are you unlimited as well. No law the world obeys can help you grasp love's meaning. What the world believes was made to hide love's meaning and to keep it dark and secret. There is not one principle the world upholds but violates the truth of what love is and what you are as well. Seek not within the world to find yourself. Love is not found in darkness and in death. Yet it is perfectly apparent to the eyes that see and ears that hear love's voice. Today we practice making free your mind of all the laws you think you must obey, of all the limits under which you live and all the changes that you think are part of human destiny. Today we take the largest single step this course requests in your advance towards established goal. If you achieve the faintest glimmering of what love means today, you have advanced in distance without measure and in time beyond the count of years to your release. Let us together then be glad to give some time to God today and understand there is 
no better use for time than this. For 15, min <clears throat> 15 minutes twice today, escape from every law in which you now believe. Open your mind and rest. The world that seems to hold you prisoner can be escaped by anyone who does not hold it dear. Withdraw all value you have placed upon its meager offerings and senseless gifts and let the gift of God replace them all. Call to your father, certain that his voice will answer. He himself has promised this and he himself will place a spark of truth within your mind wherever you give up a false belief, a dark illusion of your own reality and what love means. He will shine through your idle thoughts today and help you understand the truth of love. In loving gentleness, he will abide with you as you allow his voice to teach love's meaning to your clean and open mind. He will bless the lesson with his love. Today, the legion of the future years of waiting for salvation disappears before the timelessness of what you learn. Let us give thanks today that we are spared a future like the past. Today, we leave the past behind us, never more to be remembered, and we raise our eyes upon a different present where a future dawns unlike the past in every attribute. The world in infancy is newly born and we will watch it grow in health and strength to shed its blessing upon all who come to learn to cast aside the world they thought was made in hate to be love's enemy. Now are they all made free along with us. Now are they all our brothers in God's love. When we do this practice, we embrace all. There is nothing to fear. We will remember them throughout the day because we cannot leave a part of us outside our love if we would know ourselves. At least three times an hour, think of one who makes the journey with you and who came to learn what you must learn. And as he comes to mind, give him this message from yourself. I bless you, brother, with the love of God which I would share with you. For I would learn the joyous lesson that there is no love but God's and yours and mine and everyone's. So we'll do this now. We do this lesson. There is no love but God's. We will sink in for 15 minutes to escape from every law in which you now believe. Open your mind and rest. The world that seems to hold you prisoner can be escaped by anyone who does not hold it dear. So if we don't hold it dear, the world of change and the world of mistrust, if we don't hold it dear, we can escape it without valuing parts of it. It will go away. Withdraw all value you have placed upon its meager offerings and senseless gifts and let the gift of God replace them all. And if someone comes to mind for you to bless, which you will practice throughout the day today, you can allow that part of the lesson to Okay, there is no love but God's. So we allow that wonderful, powerful truth to just be in our awareness for some time. Because if there is no love, but God's, there is also nothing to fear. Nothing to be concerned about.
No little thought is worthy of your mind. You can let them go. You can let them go again. And we come back to just laying aside meaningless thoughts and worries. Because if there is no love but gas, there is actually nothing at all to worry about. There is also nothing to judge or know something about or have an opinion about. So we can gently come back to to presence. And if there is a problem or a judgment that you see in your mind, you can just come back to this lesson. There is no love but God's and I include everyone in this love. Include yourself. Because if we don't trust God, what do we trust? Do we trust doubt? Is that reliable? It's not. I think when you shared about trust just now, I felt the doubt or the trust. Um, I think it would turn off me as the trust in God's judgment that my brother is holy and divine and pure and innocent. Yeah. That's, I think. That's true, and your brother is not in a body. <laughs> <laughs> the presence of God is your brother. The, the joy within is your brother. The form is not. It is wonderful. It's wonderful to trust God. And to not trust in doubt. <laughs> it's impossible to trust in doubt. Doubt just leads to doubt. Vanessa, anyone have any thoughts? I was just speak the, the lesson save me from my my doubt thought because it's so when i go in another direction just when i remember the last it just it's like come back to god come back to this line It's doubt thoughts, it's judgment thoughts, so it's fear thoughts. And I think the lesson is for me, I, I have been realized that the lesson saved me, less helped me a lot. Just come back, just put my mind back. Yeah, and then the. the uh, 
from yesterday is still in my mind that there is no other love. You can feel safe because just because there is no other love, but God's love, it's, it's really powerful. Oh, wow. I can see in my mind just this, all the other kinds of love that I, I mean, I have imagined. It's just so fearful, you know, just so insecure. It's so when I think about all this kind, all this different kind of love I have in my mind that so Jesus helped me get out of this. <laughs> and come back to God's law because yeah. yeah yeah that is the only safe place in the whole existence yeah I read again and again this chapter from yesterday because it's in my mind it was so like Anna said really with Revelation. What did you say? Yes. Revelation. Revelation. <laughs> Recognition. This. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's so obvious, but I I have never seen like that. You know. Like, mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Mm. And you've got something to share? How are you? Um, the only thing that actually came into my mind, very much like Vanessa, it's like so helpful to just bring the mind back and this lesson's really beautiful, but what came in for me was conversations and sometimes I'm just talking from you know, like to a person and that's what I'm starting to just see. It's like, oh, um, yeah, there's a, another place to talk from too. I don't know how to make it any clearer than that, mm -hmm. but I think it's That's you very clear, yeah. yeah. Another place to talk from and to. And to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm just watching, you know, where that's coming from. So I feel a bit, I think it mentioned something about a baby. I don't know if it's in this or something I've just been listening to, but but that sense of like, oh, I don't even know how to communicate at all, really. So it's just learning from that place. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Be a baby in salvation, in practicing salvation, like the Course describes it. Thank you.